Hello and welcome back friends. Uh, this is a video around simple equations which will be helpful for those of you in uh, class 6 or 7. And we will dig right in. Alright, so before we look at a simple equation, we need to know exactly what is an equation, right? So uh, simply explain, equation is nothing but a statement in mathematics that has two equal sides and those two sides are separated by an equal sign. Now each side represents an expression and the two sides are the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation. The left hand side denoted by LHS and the right hand side denoted by RHS. Okay, now let's look at these two expressions 2 plus 5 and 3 plus 4. Now we know 2 plus 5 equals 3 plus 4 because 2 plus 5 evaluates to 7 and 3 plus 4 also evaluates to 7. Now this is a, an example of a numerical equation where we have both the left hand side equal to the right hand side. Now this was uh, explaining an equation in its simplest form okay now we will look at what is a variable now variable as the name suggests is anything that varies or changes that's why the name variable and in mathematics uh, it is a number that is unknown to us okay uh, so for example you might be told two times a number equals 30 and you're asked to find the number well that number is unknown to us right so in that in this scenario that number becomes a variable for us because it is unknown its value is unknown to us so how we solve it becomes let us assume that the number we want to find is x and as i said before x becomes a variable in this example because it is unknown and based on the information that we have been told we know two times the number equals 30 so we write it as 2x equals 30 and that is our information and then of course x evaluates to 15 and that is your answer. Alright, uh, now that we looked at what is a variable, what is an equation, now we come down to the topic <laughs> which is what is a simple equation, right? Now a simple equation is an equation with only one variable, that is the first condition. And the second condition that the variable should be in the first degree, like x or a or b. It cannot be x square or a square or b cube or b to the power 4. So the power should always be 1, right? That's what it means, first degree. So in the previous example, we saw 2x equals 30. It is a simple equation because it involves only one variable, one unknown, that is x. And the variable is in the first degree as well right a few more examples to look at for simple equations uh, a minus 5 equals 12 why is it a simple equation because we only have one variable and that is a and it's also in the first degree similarly 7b plus 2 is 44 there's only one unknown which is b and again it is also in the first degree all right now we will look at writing statements as equations, all right, because this is something that you will often come across. So for example, let's look at the left hand side. Here the statement says a sum of x and 5 is 9. Now how would you write that in, now sum of x and 5 is 9, so of course we know uh, we can write it as x plus 5 equals 9, right? Let the number be x, that is unknown. Uh, when you add 5 to x, the result is 9, and that becomes our equation. The second one is 3 times a, which is 3a, is 4 more than 29. That means it the difference between 3 times a and 29, when you take 29 away from 3 times a, the result is 4. So similarly, that's how you write it. 3a minus 29 gives you 4. The third one is 1 third of n is 2 more than 10. Now 1 third of n can be represented as n upon 3. And what we've been told is that this expression 1 third of n is 
two more than 10. That means when you take out 10 from one third of n, you still have two left. So that means that's how you write it in the equation format is n upon three minus 10 equals two. And last and not the least is b is greater than six by three, right? So the difference between b and six is three. So that's how we write it in the equation b minus six equals three. Similarly, now we can write equations as statements, right? Uh, the other way around, the flip side. So the first one is a plus seven is nine. All right, so writing this in um, the statement format becomes the sum of a and seven is nine, right? As simple as it can get. Four b is 24. It's nothing but four times b is 24. That's a statement. 4x minus 3 is 12, so writing it in the simple English becomes taking away 3 from 4 times x gives us 12. And last but not the least is 1 third of n is 10. And that's how you write it in the statement format. Alright folks, so that was a simple introduction to simple equations. Hope you understood what an equation is, what is a variable and what is a simple equation and what makes anything a simple equation. All right, uh, easy squeezy. Talk to you all soon. Thank you for subscribing to Alfie.